I got his, I got his, he came up here and I spent three hours with him. But when all said and done, he said that he'd do it and then he wouldn't do it because he didn't have money. So I was left with no choice. Yeah. Well, come on you, can, you can't beat that argument. I made a statement down in my press conference. You ought to get it. You ought to take it with you. I said, let me say on Vietnam, a year ago I made this statement, I quote, for 10 years this nation's helping brave people resist aggression. Our policy is the same as it was then. I reviewed it 48 times. Under this policy, changes the situation time to time, changes tactics but no, in equipment. As I said last month, the continuing action we take will be those that are justified and made necessary by aggression. These aggressors serve no peaceful interest, not even their own. No one threatens their regime. There is no intent or desire for the United States to conquer them or to occupy their land. What is wanted is simply that they carry out their solemn agreements, that they end their aggression. The goal of all of us must be peaceful progress. They have a right to live side by side in peace. And this little countries does not have that right. The question is, what will happen to the other hundred little countries who want to preserve it? They have a right to build a sense of community among themselves. They have a right to join with help from others in the full development of their own resource. They have a right to live together without fear or oppression or domination from any corner of this globe. So this is the peace for which the United States works. This is the peace which aggression in the North prevents. This is the peace which will remain the steadfast goal of the United States of America. I don't know how you can go any stronger for peace than that. I don't think you can. I'll get that. Well, I won't keep you. If I, uh, I, I will, uh, I will. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, press conference number 39 on the record, 11 a.m., March the 20th. I press office it. will give it to you. I, I heard it was a But I, I, I purposely did this. I did everything I could do without saying the South did not. I'm suing for surrender. I can't send up a white flag. This nation can't. But uh, if the Russians can find peace, if the French can find peace, if the, if the Germans or the English can find them, where well, they'll come home and leave their neighbor alone. Just go back across that line if they agree to stay behind. I'll be home tomorrow morning with every man I got. Well, <laughs> I appreciate you doing that, and I'll. Um I'll pound home that idea. I don't know whether that'll get anywhere, but I'll I'm sorry I'm not uh, in longer. But I've got the prime minister, uh, the foreign minister, that's been waiting since 11:30 from England. I'm 20 minutes late, you but ahead. I wanted you to have this, and I wanted to go over as much of it as I could. Okay. But I just uh, today I've got to when I get through with him. Oh, of course. I've okay. got the Latin American Council. I've got the uh, I've got the. Uh, uh, governors uh, from Missouri and the governors from uh, Nebraska. After that, at 1.30, I've got McNamara, Rusk, and Bundy at 3.30, and they told me you had to leave at 4.30. I understand that. Don't worry about it. More power to <coughs> you. Thank you. I'll be rooting. How'd you like that speech before the Congress? The, the which one? Before the Congress on joint session on oh, civil rights. Oh, that was terrific. Thank terrific. you. Uh, bye. Wonderful. Bye. Thank you. Fighting, fighting. Uh,